Junction's news leader. This is KKCO 11 News at 5.30. 11 minutes of non-stop news and your no-wait weather starts now. There are so many children out there that are dying from cancer every day, and they suffer. Many are sporting a new haircut today in support of children's cancer research. Good evening, and thanks for making us Grand Junction's news leader. I'm Alicia Gentile. The community came together for a good cause after Grand Junction hosted its second annual St. Bartholomew's Day event today. KKCO 11 News reporter Ian Markle attended the event and joins us live in the studio to help you know more about the fundraiser. Ian? Alicia, participants raised money and then came together today to shave their heads in support of children's cancer research. I've hit my goal of $2,000, so this will be my third year shaving in honor of my brother. Lead event organizer Robin Carmine's brother Neil was diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma at 25 years old. After being misdiagnosed for nine months, doctors found a tumor that wrapped all the way around Neil's arm. Watching him suffer the way he did is what brought us to do this. But Carmine says that her involvement isn't just about her brother's memory. Even kids that, that are cured and survive suffer throughout the rest of their lives, so we want to try and find even better treatment to help cure the cancer. Carmine and other organizers have worked all year to put together the event and managed to pull in a significant number of new sponsors and participants. Last year we shaved 84 heads by the end of the day. At the beginning of the event this morning, 99 people were signed up to part with their locks, and at least 20 more walk-ins showed up as the day went on. The head shaving was kicked off by Mayor Pro Tem Marty Shaven, followed right afterward by Carmine. I asked her how she felt about her new hairdo. Biggest St. Baldrick's event, it took almost six years before they shaved more than 100 heads in a single event. But Alicia, here in Grand Junction, we had between 115 and 140 after only our second year of hosting. Thanks, Ian. Organizers say that their goal for this year's event was to 